Today we're doing Epicus today. We are going to chat about the top five opponents that John Cena could potentially face at WWE Hell in a Cell coming up this Sunday slash Monday for Australians. Now this list will consist of five superstars who may be current superstars, NXT superstars, former superstars, or potentially another person from another company. Now without further ado, let's kick it off with number five. We have Carlito. That's right, Carlito, a former WWE superstar, but was rumored a while back now, maybe two or three months now, to be coming back to the WWE. Now, why do you say that I put Carlito into the top five or even mentioned in the top five? Well, if you don't remember, back in 2004, Carlito was the first opponent to John Cena's United States title. And Carlito convinced John Cena to put that title up on the line in a one-on-one -on -one match. And what happened later? Carlito won the match, got the title, got his chain, and that was a memorable moment for Carlito in his entire WWE career. Now, of course, this is just a prediction, and I highly doubt that Carlito would ever come back just for a United States title shot, or even a United States title shot, because I don't think anybody would be convinced in 2015 that Carlito will win the WWE United States Championship. But it's just to throw out there to see if anybody wants to give it a go. I don't really think that would work, but that's why it is my number five. So let's continue on with my number four. This one might be a little bit crazy. You might call me a lunatic, but I think it might be one of the most favoritable suggestions that everybody has chosen as of this moment. And the man I'm talking about is, of course, the lunatic fringe, the leader of the Ambrose Asylum. That's right, Dean Ambrose is your number four. Now, why should I pick Dean Ambrose as my number four? Well, rumors have been going around. Dean Ambrose has been one of the selective men to be rumored for the upcoming United States Championship Open. Now, do I want Dean Ambrose to win? Oh God, no, I don't want him to win the title. He had it a while ago, and I believe he was like one of the highest person to hold the title, and I believe he lost it to Sheamus in that battle royal. If you remember, it was back on Raw, and that was when they were trying to break up the shield, and you know, blah, blah, blah. That was back in 2012. I can't believe I still remember. Maybe 2013, actually. But yes, Dean Ambrose did hold that title for a long time, and I don't really want to see him hold it again. It's not really his type of title. He doesn't even really need that title. I'd rather see him with a tag team title than a United States title, if you know what I mean. But hey, Dean Ambrose has been rumored to be one of the selected men to be the winner for the WWE United States Championship, so that is why I put him on my number four. So hopefully, it might come true. You never know. But now let's go on to our number three. Okay, this one is going to surprise you. This one might shock you. This one might shatter your mirror. That's right. I'm talking about the dashing one, Cody Rhodes. I'm not talking about Stardust. I'm not talking about mustache Cody Rhodes. I'm not talking about that disfigured Cody Rhodes. I am talking about Cody Rhodes in general. I don't care about dashing Cody Rhodes or the one who tried to be like AJ Styles with the hood Cody Rhodes. I'm just talking about Cody Rhodes. No Stardust, no Personas. I believe Cody Rhodes has a possible chance to come back as himself to possibly pitch up the win. Now, this is my suggestion only. I don't see any rumors about this, believe me. The only reason I choose him is because Dusty Rhodes former United States champion back in the day, and due to the unfortunate timing of Dusty Rhodes passing this year, in the year 2015, I believe Cody Rhodes could potentially pitch up the United States title. Now, do I believe Cody Rhodes will come back at a silly time like this? No, not really. I don't really see him coming back at all, but he's not in a feud. And believe me, I don't want to see Cody Rhodes in another Neville feud. I don't want to see him in another superhero feud, much like Dean Ambrose, as far as I know. My number four and number three are not in feuds at the moment. Dean Ambrose was in a feud, but then Randy Orton got hurt, and then it doesn't really look like they might have a match, but potentially they might have a match somewhere down the line between Dean Ambrose and Braun Strowman or whatever, but I'm just going off topic right here. But my number three, that's right, Cody Rhodes. No Stardust, no other persona, no dashing Cody Rhodes. That was just a little teaser. I believe Cody Rhodes will show up and become your future United States Champion. Now let's go over to number two. 
for my second pick to potentially win the United States Championship off of John Cena at WWE Hell in a Cell 2015 is a former World Heavyweight Champion, a former WWE World Heavyweight Champion, and a former Intercontinental Champion, that's right, the leader of the Yes Movement, Daniel Bryan. Now much like Dean Ambrose, Daniel Bryan has also been rumoured to come back for the WWE United States Championship Open. Now, do I believe that Daniel Bryan might win this? I, I don't even know if he's showing up. It's very, very, very possible. But then again, who knows? Because he is injured, WWE is a little bit worried about his injury-prone body. So it's pretty much just up in the air. But I believe if Daniel Bryan came back, that would be awesome. But you could also throw out the question... Why would they not advertise it? Why would they showcase Daniel Bryan coming for the WWE United States Champion without any promotion over this and other people would want to watch it? But then again, I say it's Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan is a very likely choice to make John Cena's United States title still relevant after John Cena is gone. John Cena put a lot of prestige in that title and I believe Daniel Bryan might continue on that reign with the United States title when John Cena is finally gone and rid of the United States title contendership. But now it has come to that time to go all the way to number one. This one has been my pick since day one, since John Cena did the WWE United States Championship Open Challenge. This superstar has been a former world champion, former X Division champion, former tag team champion. That's right, I'm talking about the current NXT superstar, possibly future. United States Champion Samoa Joe. Now why would I suggest Samoa Joe and why would I put him as my number one? Well, we could always go back to TNA Impact back in 2006 where Kurt Angle challenged Samoa Joe for the TNA World Heavyweight Championship and made a very, very massive impact in that company and that raised a lot of buzz around the world. Now can you imagine? Samoa Joe, a former independent wrestler in Ring of Honor, a former TNA wrestler who held the X Division Champion, the Tag Team Champion and the World Heavyweight Champion, a man who went undefeated for 17 months in TNA. And from what recent news stories have been saying about Samoa Joe's popularity in the WWE shop, it looks like his merchandise might be selling tons and tons of sales across the nation. I would love to see Samoa Joe go for the muscle buster, defeat John Cena with the one, two, three, because we all know John Cena won't tap out to the Coquina Clutch or any other submission move that anybody locks onto him, so count the submissions out. But for now, I would say Samoa Joe will do the muscle buster. Go for the one, two, three, and then your new WWE United States Champion is Samoa Joe. So those were my top five opponents that could potentially challenge John Cena at the upcoming pay-per-view WWE Hell in a Cell 2015. But before we end this video, let me first show you my honorable mentions. Now I have chosen five honorable mentions. These names range from NXT superstars, like I said, for the top five official picks. Now let's get into it. Kevin Owens, Baron Corbin, James Storm, Cesaro, and Kurt angle. Now before we go, I do want to mention that I don't believe John Cena will lose at WWE Hell in a Cell. I believe he will lose the next night on Raw. I don't know who will it be against, but that's my prediction. That's my thoughts on what John Cena could potentially do. I think he will retain at Hell in a Cell, but I think he will lose at Monday Night Raw. So those were my thoughts on John Cena, but I would like to know what you thought of the entire video, so make sure to leave a like down below and a comment to let me know what you thought of the entire video, and until next time, thanks for watching. The name is Dawn Day Evolution, the solution to the gaming community which is littered with pollution. The most electrifying man in all of entertainment, no I'm not quoting the rock, I'm just making a statement. I am educated, dedicated, never duplicated, if you stand in my way, you're about to be a minimum. Say a life lesson is just to be on top, I live on my motto and just to be all odds.